Hello everybody, this is Tech Hut, and in this video what I'm going to be doing is showing you a couple different ways on how to update your drivers in Windows 10. And also something that I would recommend you avoid to do. Now the first way to update drivers is through the Windows Update Manager here. All you do is check for updates, especially when you first install your operating system, you're going to want to run this and update everything it says to do. Do. But you can see here in the picture I have the screen, if you do have drivers to update through here, all you do is go ahead and start the update process and restart your PC whenever needed. Now another way to go about this is through the device manager. Here in the device manager it lists all the devices connected to your computer and even when a driver is not installed it should recognize that a device is plugged in. It might look something like this. But all you do is go to the driver you want to update. For example, if I wanted to f look for an update for this NVIDIA GTX driver, I would just right click on it, click on update driver, search automatically, and then it will go ahead and search online. And what it's going to do is it's going to come up and tell me that the best drivers are already installed. And this is a link to go to the method that we just did. So if I click that, it would open up this again. Now those are the easy ways. Sometimes you're gonna to have to go and manually find your drivers. For example, if you bought a pre-built computer, that's gonna be make it a little easier on yourself because any pre-built computers such as computers from Dell, Lenovo, anybody like that are going to have a their own driver updating software which even if you do update all your drivers through Windows Update, I would recommend you do this because there are going to be things that are missed. For example, if I just Google Lenovo driver updates, I have a Lenovo ThinkPad laptop and I do need to go through this whenever I do any updates or whenever I uh, reinstall my operating system. And here you can input your serial number or select a product. This is through Lenovo, but this is generally the same on any type of these websites. So for example, if I went up here, the ThinkPad I have is a ThinkPad X260. So if I search that, you can see the X260 is there. I search that up and there are options to download the Lenovo system update and you can download the tool from here. And I'll show you the same example through the Dell website. So if I just Google Dell drivers, it'll take me to the drivers and downloads. And here you can go through browse all products let's say we had a all-in-one PC. It was a Optiplex, which is a very popular model of PCs. Let's say it's a 9000. You just click on your computer model. There it is. You'd select everything you want and you can see it has a list of drivers here. So you just go through and you download any driver that you need for your computer that you may be missing and you're good to go. You can see here, just like with Lenovo, you have the let us analyze your system to find the latest updates. You could do that and it's, it, it's gonna say it's not gonna work because this is a custom built PC, but running these with pre-built PCs will usually give you everything you need to find your drivers. So you just download this and run it and you should be good to go. Now I do have a video up on how to update drivers manually. What that means is it doesn't happen very often, especially with modern hardware. You may download a driver and there will just be a couple files in there with no setup exe or anything like that. To manually update a driver, you go back into the device manager and if I'm a little too quick and you need a better explanation of this because you're in this situation, I highly suggest you watch the video I did on that. But you'd go to the device you want to update the driver on and you click browse my computer for the driver update software. You select the subfolder that the driver is in, you include subfolders, and then you go through the process of updating it. Now the very last method I'm going to be discussing in this video is through the Microsoft Update Catalog. This is Microsoft's catalog of all the driver software. This is the last thing you might want to check if the Windows driver updater on your computer isn't working, it can't find it through Device Manager and you seem to be having trouble finding it through the internet via the manufacturer websites. So for example, I have a GTX 1650 graphics card. When I search that up, it will bring up a huge list of drivers that at all reference that, and it does have the latest update date here, the file size, driver name, and the description. This is the one I would probably want right here. It was updated not that long ago at all, so if I wanted to get the driver this way all I would do is click on download it will open up this 
and I click right here and I save the file, click OK, and then the file will begin to download. And then when the file finishes downloading, this is the cabinet file, it's a type of archiving file. You can see right here that these are this is the entire driver. Some of these do and don't include setup EXEs, so this is the setup EXE here. So all I would do is extract all of this to its own folder, run the setup EXE, and I'd be good to go. If there's no setup EXE, watch the video on how to manually install these drivers. You should have no issues at all. One thing I do not suggest, I'm gonna Google something, driver updater software. This is a no-go. So let's just go to a random website. Um, this one, best free driver updaters. You'll have all these different driver easy, driver max, driver identifier, all this different software that is, it, it works, but they all cost money. Some of them have spyware and adware. So you're gonna to wanna to be really careful if you're gonna be using any of these. I do suggest you go out, I, I would rather go out and spend the time to find every individual driver manually and install them than use one of these pieces of software. That is about it. I hope this video has helped you out in some sort of way. Like I said, there'll be a link in the description as well as if you click the I in the corner to take you to that video on how to install drivers manually. If you have any questions, feel free to drop them down below. Please subscribe for more Windows tutorials like this. I upload basic window tutorials, hardware overviews, reviews. So subscribe, ring that bell. I hope you have a great day and goodbye.